Time now for sports. We start this evening with some celebratory news. Get your flag t-shirts and Vuvuzela is out tonight as Cayman's fastest lady, Sidoni Mothersill, returns home from India. Commonwealth Games 200 meters champ. She arrives on an American Airlines flight at 7.25 tonight. Officials are asking the entire community to go out and support Sidoni and congratulate her on her achievement. She won the 200 meters at the Commonwealth Games on Monday, becoming the first Caymanian gold medalist at the Games. To some flag football news now, and the curtain came down on another season with some exciting finals last Saturday. The Lady Sharks started hot favorites after topping the regular season against the Monsters led by Ali Amos. Here are the highlights. The Sharks wasted no time getting control with quarterback Bobeth Ogiaro showing some nifty moves. Things got worse for the Monsters when they lost key player Christine Bisnoff to a knee injury. Rookie Cortisha Ebanks then took over the game, hooking up with Ogaro for three touchdowns as the Sharks take a big chunk out of the Monsters. The Monsters try to stay close with Keisha Solomon breaking away for two scores. That's one of them there. But it was all the Sharks and Ogaro, Simone Campbell, hooking up with some trick plays in the Sharks' 30-20 victory. Last year we kind of frazzled in the finals and this year we said it's just not going to happen. We were relaxed, we looked at it as not a championship game but just any game in the league because we believe that we're number one and no team can beat us. The ladies played perfectly. We couldn't ask for a better game from our players. So we, they did play exactly what we wanted them to do. On the men's side, the Hellcats were chasing their fifth title against the Panthers. And as we expected, the Hellcats bought pressure all game long, eliminated the Panthers main man Ryan Smith on the ground and leaving the rest up to veteran quarterback Freco Ebanks as they scored their second straight shutout win 12 to 0 caging a tough Panthers team. Let's take a look at the highlights now. There's Ryan Smith on the run trying to find some room but the Hellcats D was just a bit too much on Saturday. Freco long throw finding one of his receivers as they get closer to the touchdown line and finding Clay Coleman for his score of the day as the Panthers surge to that 12 to 0 victory winning the title for the fifth time. Coleman ending the game on that interception and the Hellcats celebrate yet another win. It's sweet, sweet. You know, we're, some of the, we're getting old now, so it's nice to, to, to see that we can still come out here and compete hard against some of, the younger, some of the younger guys. But, you know, at the end of the day, we work hard for this and we deserve it. We knew that... Um, that the Burger King team is a tough team. They like to run the ball a lot. So we, we knew that we had to, to, to amp up our defense in a sense to, you know, to counter that because, you know, they're a very good team. They didn't get here by chance. They get here by working hard, you know, and we intended to do the same thing today, you know, which we accomplished. For his solid season, helping the Hellcats to another title, Clay picks up the most valuable player prize. Prize, same for the Lady Sharks quarterback and leader, Bobek Ogaro. So we look forward to next season's action and what it brings. Before we go tonight, let's talk some dominoes now. The local domino association has put together a competitive season for those die-hard domino players here on the island. It's a bit more than matching cards like most of us do, like myself. A lot like the highly charged boxing fights with players battling in a ring with referees and judges close by. Eight teams have been battling in the first two weeks of the domino season. <laughs> so it's tough play there. And, our Sunday, and on Sunday, our cameras journeyed to East End to catch East End's best up against Helium from Georgetown. The Pirates Cove bar was buzzing as East End supporters rallied their team to victory over the spirited Helium players. And in Georgetown, Archie's bar get the better of neighbors sings roti shop. The community competition is heading into its third week this weekend and with organizers and players all enjoying the Sunday afternoon excitement. It is the first league that we have, um, the second week of all these games and it's gradually progressing. We support our team no matter where we go and if, we, if it costs to make it nice to build a, the energy and emotion for the players, they're going to they're gonna take everything what we got to give them. Dominoes in the island has come a long way since it first started out in the 1970s. And now with the way it's being played, it's all a game about memory, but with a little twist to it. So if you know how to play it, it shouldn't matter how anybody plays it at this point.